Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the warehouse. My name's Chase and today we're gonna be checking out the Easton Mako M3 elbow pad. Now this is the entry level model in the Easton Mako line. So you're gonna get this at a really great value and you're gonna get some of the cool features that we saw throughout the rest of the Makos. Now, once again, uh, the whole idea behind the Mako line is that natural movement equals mobility. So um, a really good feature that they did throughout the whole elbow pad line is that they moved the focus or the flex zone uh, to be more natural and it's gonna be a little bit lower. It's gonna give you that really natural type of a movement. So you still have two zones that flex and so you have three pieces that flex independently. The first one being in the bicep guard or in the forearm guard here. You got a little bit of twisting and turning you could do. Not a whole lot like the rest of the make goes, but you still get some flex up top. This is all one piece. But you can see it's super flexible too, so you ha do have another zone here. So all three together, you can see how they all can move somewhat independently, giving you that great range of motion. Now looking at the elbow cap, this is non-certifiable. Uh, the other two Makos do have a foam filled cap. This is not foam filled. You will have a plastic cap underneath and then you have a pretty thick layer of low to medium density foam on top of it. Um, looking at the bicep guard, you got a plastic insert here that wraps uh, all the way to about here. And on top of that, you have a low density foam. So you're gonna get a decent amount of protection with that plastic insert, but it's not the top of the line protection. Wrap it around to the back. This all stays at you know low density, medium density foam. Uh, you're gonna get the same strapping system that we saw in the M5. Nice and simple like that. Looking at the forearm guard, you got one a big plastic insert that wraps around all the way over here. You got a, a thin layer of medium density, maybe low density foam here, and you have some comfort foam that sits on your forearm. So you get some, you know, pretty decent protection, not optimal, but you're getting some good protection all the way around the forearm area. Now looking at the strapping systems, I'm going to go ahead and just put this elbow pad on right now. Do the forearm guard first. Um, I already have these two set up, which is a cool key feature having this Velcro on top. We also saw this in the M5. Uh, this gives you a pretty good lock on your forearm. I do like how throughout the Mako line it gives you a really solid uh, contoured feel. It locks in nice and tight, giving you some good mobility up top, lets you be mobile up top. So that feels really good and nice. We'll go ahead and strap up here. And I got that one a little tight, loosen it up. So now you can see we got a lot of mobility here. Um, I, I can feel a little pinch right here. Uh, it doesn't hurt at all. It's just a tiny little pinch. You can't really feel it. I wouldn't imagine you're going to be like this in the game, but you do get a little pinching up there. And uh, once again, like I said in the other videos of the Mako elbow pads, uh, the elbow room, the elbow cap is not deep enough for my elbow personally and a couple other guys from the warehouse. So I wish it was a little deeper so it could really sit in and then I won't get, um, you know, the back end kind of flops out a little bit, kind of like it's not locking in there well enough. But Overall, it fits really good. It's super mobile. It's going to give you some good protection. This is going to be ideal for those uh, maybe entry level guys or someone uh, who's been playing a long time who doesn't like a big bulky pad. So I think they did a pretty good, jo pretty good job overall. You're getting some great value and some good protection. So that was a good look at the Mako M3 elbow pad. For even more information, be sure to check it out at inlineandicewarehouse.com.